So a big problem that I know a lot of new editors encounter when they first start editing is that they run into a ton of problems when it comes to exporting their video and render settings. So to make your life 10 times easier, and if you're one of these people that I just mentioned, I'm gonna be covering the best render settings and my own personal render settings for After Effects, Premiere Pro, and DaVinci. I'm gonna have a Google Drive with screenshots of these settings as well, so you can refer to them if you need to use them later on. But like, comment, subscribe, let's get right into the video. Okay, so like I mentioned in the intro, I'm gonna be going over the three main softwares that I use, DaVinci Resolve, After Effects, and Premiere Pro for all the render settings, and I'll also be covering a little bit of Media Encoder. Uh, so starting off, we're going to cover DaVinci, then we'll go to After Effects, and then we'll go to Premiere. I don't know how laggy this is gonna make my PC, having three editing softwares open at once, but we are going to start off in DaVinci, like I said, my personal favorite software. Okay, quickly before we actually get into the tutorial, I wanna quickly talk to you guys about my two editing packs that I have right now. I recently just dropped my 2024 editing pack, and that has absolutely everything you need in terms of content creation. It'll help you make the best videos possible and make editing a lot easier when it comes to making your projects. In my packs, I have over 150 presets supporting DaVinci Resolve, After Effects, Premiere, and Sony Vegas, a ton of project files for my own videos, as well as videos that I've edited for my own clients. So you're able to actually edit professional videos based off of them. I have a ton of sample footage from some of the biggest YouTubers that I've edited for, practice clips for Fortnite, a sound effects library, music library, memes, literally everything you could ever need for editing. And if you guys can't actually afford my 2024 pack, I have an all-in-one $5 pack that's great for beginners as well. So if you guys want to check out either of those packs, they're going to be at the top of the description, but I won't go on any longer. Let's get right back to the video. Now, if we come here to the a YouTube video project file that I literally have right here, this is what one of my project files looks like, by the way. All we have to do in DaVinci, like you guys know, is come here to the deliver tab, and this will allow us to do all of the render settings. So I'm going to show you my personal render settings for this and how you can initialize this process. So for example, I'm going to give it a second to load. It's probably laggy, like I said, because of the editing softwares. I might actually close Premiere real quick because I don't want to lag like that. Okay. So for this, what I'll do is you can see on the left side right here in DaVinci, we have the custom export feature H264 master, HyperDAC, H265 master. There's a bunch of presets and you can see that by switching through the options here. And that's cool that it has a, uh, it does have a TikTok 1080p, which is pretty cool. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I will normally name it final TikTok subtitle tutorial, something like that. Then from there, location will mean the export location where we pick wherever. So this is going to be my final videos folder. Now we're going to do this in single clip because if you do individual clips, dude, you're cooked. It's going to have like a million different clips and you don't want that. Did you guys know that 94% of you guys that watch my videos right now are not subscribed to the channel? If you're on that 94%, dude, I don't know what you're doing. Just make sure to drop a sub. Anyways, let's just get right back to the video. Now, first in the video tab, I'll show you my settings. QuickTime, H.264, but you can also use MP4. Uh, encoder, just do native. Resolution, 1920 by 1080 if that's your project, but obviously you would do your project resolution. Now, frame rate, I keep it at 60. Now, for the quality, you could either do it automatic at best, automatic at high, or restrict to literally spam ones, and then it will actually give you this number, 2097151. That's the max bit rate you can use. So I'll do that. Encoding profiles, auto, advanced settings are all just default for me. And then for audio, I leave it, leave it at linear PCM. Bit depth will be 16, but you can also go to 32. It won't really mess up too much. Stereo is fine. And basically all this is going to be good. Now, um, yeah, my disk space is pretty full on this drive. So it kind of gives me an estimate that it's going to be over the top. So obviously I know that I don't have enough space to render it right now, but I'm basically going to leave it the way it is right now. And I just press add to render queue, render, and that would be that. But those are my settings for DaVinci. And I'll also have some screenshots into Google Drive if you need to actually refer back to them. I'll have a Google Drive with pictures for all these softwares so you guys can refer back to it. But let's actually head on over to After Effects now. Okay, so right here I have a project file for Vermax. This is a no subs, super basic project file, honestly. Um, but I'm going to quickly show you After Effects' native uh, render engine settings. I use. So I'll go here to export, add to render queue. Um, Premiere Pro and After Effects both give you the option to render with media encoders. So I'll show you that after. But basically, we can see it'll say needs output whenever you need to do something. Now, coming here to render settings, I'll always do quality, best, resolution, full. All of these will be default. I'll do the comps frame rate at 60. Um, make sure the in and out are set to the right duration thing. Press OK. Now, we'll come here to output module. I'll always go here to format options. 
CBR, drag this to max, which will be 50. Make sure your audio is also on 192 kilobytes per second. I don't really like to go lower than that because it makes it sound fuzzy and weird, but don't also go up to 512. It's pointless and it'll make your file pretty big. So go to okay, make sure all of this looks pretty good okay and then you just pick your output file from here so i just go to my finals folder name it whatever go to save obviously i'm not gonna do that because i've already rendered the file before um and then i would literally just press render right here it would render through or we could actually or we could actually transfer these settings to media encoder by pressing the q and ame thing so that is how you do after effects super easy let me quickly show you media encoder so if we did add to adobe media encoder queue it would actually boot up media encoder and we just give it a second to boot up because it does have to load some stuff but then what we would do is it would actually pop up in just a second and just like that it is in our media encoder queue now what i do is i don't even click in the format because the format's fine as default i'll just go to the preset let it load up and connect to the dynamic link which is kind of the bridge between after effects and media encoder just give it a second and boom just like that it boots up and then what i will do is i'll make sure the output name is good the folder is fine i'll go to finals like this it already says it'll replace it so i'm just gonna ignore that and then right here is what i'll actually change i'll go down to video make sure this is on 60 and give Good. And then I'll come down here to VBR, change it to CBR, drag it up to 50, press OK. Then we literally press the pray thing but i'm not going to do that because i don't need to render it because i don't have the storage to do it like i showed you guys in the video. but that is how to do media encoder and after effects let's boot up premiere pro and I'll show you guys how to do that okay so for premiere pro i'm just going to show you uh this is like a sample intro that i have on my pc right now from one of my videos that i just posted um and basically all i do premiere pro makes it super easy they have an export tab right here at the top left and just give it a second and perfect just like that we are going to be good to go now you can have auto publish options i definitely don't recommend it though because any software that offers automatic publishing isn't really the best but you can do whatever you want uh, make sure your name is whatever you'd like it to be change the output destination folder so for example i just go to the, my finals folder and what i would do is i modify the audio in the video so i'll go down here to more go to use maximum render quality just like this and then what i'll do is i will go to cbr change this from 38 which is the default to 50 and then what I will do is I will kind of close this like this audio please make sure that this is at 48,000 hertz because sometimes it drops down to 4400 or 32,000 make sure it's also stereo and your bitrate can be as high as 512 I normally stick around 192 just because that's all you really need without having the project be super big like if we went up to 512 it doesn't add a lot of difference to the file itself but you can do whatever you like and then you could just either send it to media encoder or export it kind of the same way that after effects does that but yeah guys that's basically it for my render quality settings but yeah guys that's basically it for my render settings quality kind of guide like i said earlier in the tutorial i have an edit pack that'll allow you guys to edit your videos at a professional level so just go check that out i'll have it at the top of the description but i'll also have screenshots of these settings in the google drive in the description for you guys to check out and refer to when editing your own videos in the future so if you guys want to go check that out go check out the description as well as the pinned comment i should have it down there if not remind me in the comments because you guys know me i forget a ton of the time so just remind me down there but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy like comment subscribe and i will see you guys but i hope you guys did enjoy but i hope you guys did enjoy the video make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys later peace out